is an absolutely bonkers, batshit insane mushroom, the lobster mushroom. So this is a lobster mushroom, but this mushroom is not actually a lobster mushroom. Let me explain. So this is just a regular mushroom, and the red-orange coloring is coming from the lobster mushroom. So this is just a regular old mushroom that is being parasitized by a fungus that's not technically a mushroom, but it is called a lobster mushroom, the lobster mushroom fungus. So the lobster mushroom is a parasitic fungus that preys on other mushrooms, but it's very small, basically mold, so it's not like a actual mushroom preying on other mushrooms, it's essentially a mold that colonizes mushrooms. Now, it takes over this mushroom and causes a bunch of changes. The most obvious one is the change in color. It goes from a regular looking mushroom, usually white, grayish, tannish, brownish, a regular mushroom color to this bright orange or red color. The next most obvious change is the change in shape. It goes from, again, a regular mushroom shape to kind of this folded, wonky lobster tail shape that you can see here. And in addition to the physical changes of the color and shape and texture, it also changes the biochemistry of the entire host mushroom. It drastically changes, like, the enzymes and the proteins and everything in the biochemistry of the original mushroom, so much so that it barely resembles the original at all. There was actually a while ago a genetic analysis done on some of these lobster mushrooms, and it was found that most of the DNA in this mushroom is from the lobster mushroom, and there was barely any DNA at all from the original mushroom, even though it seems to be that the lobster mushroom is only coating the outside. It actually goes so deep into the mushroom that it takes over the entire physiology, basically replacing the original DNA with its own, which is just absolutely fucking nuts if you ask me. Now, most commonly it does attack milk caps, which I've made a couple videos on, and also rasula mushrooms. So some spores from the lobster mushroom lands on one of the host mushrooms, it takes over and essentially combines with it to change the whole thing into an entire new organism that is not the original lobster mushroom mold nor the original host mushroom. It's a whole new thing with a whole new biochemistry and mostly lobster mushroom DNA. And one of the coolest parts is that this is edible and it tastes really, really good apparently. This is a highly desired edible culinary mushroom. It's described as having a taste similar to seafood, as well as being used in kind of contexts where seafood like crab or real lobster would normally be used. There is no record of people getting sick or poisoned from these, as it doesn't usually colonize poisonous mushrooms that we know of, so again, use discretion with this, but as far as we know, it is not poisonous and it tastes really good. And finally, in addition to being absolutely nuts in its, like, biology, having a really good taste, it can also be used to dye things, making a pretty cool orange, red, pink, purple dye, depending on the concentrations and the other stuff you mix it with. But it can also be used to dye things, because of course, why not? So yeah, while not technically a mushroom, this is one of my new favorite fungi that I've recently learned about, because it is absolutely insane.